sex crimes, you say. Oh, man. Yep. This is going to be a weird one to fade on. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Welcome this is, to Scrub Mode. This is Scrub Mode, the, the show where we talk about, uh, you know, monsters real and imagined and how, uh, how they've transitioned into all our games and stuff like that. Uh, we're back from a vacation. I just got off the Joko cruise. I just Julio got married. Just got married. I did. Deals. Oh man, it's gonna be a couple episodes where we talk about me getting married. <laughs> yeah, but you know. I mean, it's a big deal. To be fair, right? It is. <laughs> Ryan's. Ryan not can that make guy. it. It's fine. <laughs> fine. Um, but <laughs> he's doing good. Don't worry. Yeah, he's doing um, great. <laughs> but yeah, we're. I guess if I were to, if I were to, if you were to make a Venn diagram, Julio, of cults and ancient Rome. Uh huh. I think the middle would be sex crimes. No. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're we're st- we're taking another t- break from D and D to talk about uh, a story I can't get enough of because it feels very relevant to today. Huh. Let me saying what do you know about Rome is definitely too broad, but like. Yeah, <laughs> it's a city that's been around for millennia, I guess. Yeah, basically. You yeah. know. So instead, let me just let me just uh, let me just set the scene for you. Okay. All right. Interject at any point. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's Rome. It's the second century CE. No oh boy, it's uh, way old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's Rome is it, at the same time it's like the golden age is over we're about a hundred years after Rome has hit its height starting to shrink stuff is starting to go bad but this is still th- this is still a good century to be Roman okay um, mm-hmm, you ever mm-hmm. heard of like Trajan Trajan you mean Trojan no nah, Trajan Trajan nah alright well it doesn't matter He's he, he's one of the good emperors he's one of the good ones okay Emperor Trajan. Okay. What yeah. did he do that was so good? Uh, he... He didn't kill a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess that's a good one. He, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember his accomplishments. I know the accomplishments of the other two we're going to talk about more better, mm-hmm. but... Mm-hmm. Uh, he's okay. considered one of the good ones. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I think he redistributed some land... And stuff like that. He did a bunch of building projects. Interesting. Like, yeah. Uh, I should have written down more of this, but we can't get too stuck on this guy. How, how many centuries before the Renaissance is this? This is... So Renaissance is like, depending on who you ask and where in the world, is like the 1400s. So this mm-hmm. is like tw- 1,200 years before that. Oh, wow. Quite a long time. So this time. is like, two, like 200 years after Jesus died, but 1,200 years to go. Uh-huh. To get, or a hundred years, uh huh, a hundred years to get to yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Adrian is another one of the good emperors. Have you heard of that dude? Hmm. Uh, uh, which one? What, what, what's this guy's name? Adrian. Adrian, Emperor Adrian. Adrian, Adrian with an H. Hadrian. Hadrian, Hadrian. I see. He built a big wall to keep the Scottish out. Oh boy, <laughs> he's the Trump of his era. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I we should be excluding the Scottish. I personally love the Scottish. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. He's <laughs> that really does like if if the good emperor is kind of Trumpish. Um, mm. Also, this dude suppressed a Jewish revolt. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so, but he was one of the good ones. God, this really sucks. He's one of the good, <laughs> he did do a few genocides, but he was one of the good ones. Okay, <laughs> he did less genocides. <laughs> um. Or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. Uh, uh, how about uh, Marcus Aurelius? Have you heard of that emperor? Uh, no. Okay. Wrote a book that is still being used today. It's a self-help book. Seemed like a chill guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, did not abuse his power as emperor. We're not. We don't need to go into any of these guys in depth, but just know, like, it's a good time to be Roman. Okay, things are good. Things are good at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever heard of the the Pax Romana? The Pax Romana. Yeah. Nah, it's been a Sor- while since, since yeah. high school history. <laughs> it just it just means Roman peace. 
Mm -hmm. uh like the point is like even though these guys were doing border skirmishes trying to keep the empire where it was or expand it like there was no Mm -hmm. huge big conflicts rome Mm -hmm. wasn't like in a big super war not there was a lot of money were starving yeah exactly like this is if you Mm -hmm. had to be a roman this is especially a low-class roman this is one of the times you'd want to be one okay okay yeah um Mm -hmm. anyway so it's good to be it's good to be roman and Mm -hmm. here um here is where we get into our hero or bad guy of the story okay um so most of my loot most of my information on this dude who we're about to talk about this grifter comes from a dude named lucian of samosada Mm -hmm. um he's an epicurean philosopher and he 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 wrote he was like some of our only surviving writings about this story come from this guy and so for a long long time people thought it was like atlantis or plato's republic where people thought like oh this is an allegory right oh i see uh what's what's about to happen is so unbelievable and shitty people thought it was a a moral story uh but then we found (laughs) actual artifacts of this cult and we're like oh fuck this dude was for real oh man (laughs) it's crazy Uh, so i bring this up just to be like he's my only source here So, and he fucking hated these guys. So we can't take everything he said, like take what he says with a grain of salt, but also Uh we're pretty sure he was right about most things. Okay. 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 So our story starts here in Abinantikis, which is in modern day Inabolu, Turkey. Uh, So I want you to picture like this is on the Black Sea. So it's like chill beach, like chill beachy vibes. Mm hmm. Uh, fishermen like this is the Venice Beach or the Jersey Shore of ancient Rome oh man oh dude (laughs) okay coastal Uh, communities I see okay but like a very specific kind of coastal community right with like I don't know Mm -hmm. dudes selling weed and tourism and like rich people flocking here to spend Uh money on crank cures I see I see Oh, so like, so like new agey type of stuff. New agey yes. before new agey was even new agey, right? Uh, yes. Ooh, um, mwah, you're a genius. Exactly that. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be snake um, oil salesman, basically. I put a fucking pin in that. Put a okay. pin in that. Okay. Specifically, because that is literally exactly where we're going. So. Oh boy. <laughs> um, our dude here. In, in this holiday resort town is born this guy by the name of Alexander. Mm-hmm. Um, and at least according, I'm get, at least according to Lucian of Samosota, he was, uh, he, I, he wants you to picture quote, mentally configure a highly diversified soul blend made up of lying, trickery, perjury, and malice, facile, audacious, venturesome, diligent in the execution of its schemes, plausible, convincing, masking as good, but wearing an appearance absolutely opposite of its purpose. So that was just a ba- fancy way to say that this dude was a two-faced liar. This okay. dude was a huge grifter. Huge grifter. Born to be a grifter, and he was definitely a high-functioning sociopath. So, you know, what was really big in Rome at the time is exactly what you're saying, was medicine shows. Mm. You know what these were? Like, you're pre- I'm most familiar with them in like an Old West style same, kind of thing. Same, yeah, same. It's like uh, Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper started as this shit. Yeah, it's crazy to think about, but yeah. <laughs> or it was like, drink this cocaine drink and it'll fix whatever's wrong with you. It'll fix everything that's wrong with you. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> then you'll just be addicted to cocaine. <laughs> yeah, and no one's ever felt bad on cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> um. So Alexander here, he mm-hmm. apprenticed with a quack doctor by the 